The dream is to create a platform that allows musicians, not just us, uh, but many musicians to, to share their craft and their art broadly. Nick was actually the person who originally came up with the idea. I was traveling uh, with my grandfather. When they would dock, they would go to uh, certain churches where he could practice. And while he was practicing, people would gather, drawn to his playing. And in the evenings, we'd go to these town squares, and people were all around, but there was no music. After that, he started thinking, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we could make some kind of traveling venue? Why not a truck that can go anywhere in the country? When he came to, uh, to me with this idea, I thought he was a little crazy. But people think it's just really cool, a little bit insane. <laughs> we started by winning a Creativity in Music Award from our university in South Carolina. And that was matched by the Performing Arts Consortium. They provide some financing for artists to perform. We also had a South Carolina Arts Commission grant. We've been to Columbia, Dayton, Ohio, Baltimore, DC, and in Minnesota, we've been to Alexandria, Fargo, St. Paul, Duluth. So we've been in a few schools. We've been to a children's home. We go to restaurants, open squares, pretty much anywhere you can park a truck. We've probably done it so far. <laughs> Ideally, I like to get about like four hours of practicing each in each day, um, and then we also will rehearse an additional hour or two. I think there's definitely a kind of endurance that you gain from playing on the truck. There's so many distractions that <laughs> that are around, and for you to be able to tune out and just really glue into the music is, I think, a, a huge skill. Sometimes the weather is not ideal. Uh, like today it was very windy, so it was hard to keep our music on the stand. Sometimes you get rained out. There's lots of noise, lots of distraction. Usually when we perform in the concert hall, it, everything is very controlled. Everybody is very quiet and um, the, the lighting is to be just right. But in a place like this, I mean, anything could really happen. It's an amazing time we live in because people can listen to music anywhere they are on their earphones with um, MP3 players, but there's something about live music that is essentially human and connecting. I was walking to the market and all of a sudden I heard Prokofiev's Cinderella being performed on piano. It was extraordinary. I love Prokofiev and I love Cinderella and it was just very magical for me. We think classical music tells stories that are universal, uh, and we, we try and share little pieces of information that help, um, that might help a listener clue into, you know, the things that we feel when we're performing it. And because they gave a description of the music before they played it, what the scene would be, I think it really got people's imaginations into it and they could really feel the music a little bit better. Yeah. I, I felt, you know, the emotion behind their playing just reached to everybody here. When you listen to live music, there's an energy that you just can't get from a recording. It brings people together and, I, for me, makes life worth living. We want it to be easier for people to share music. Um, classical musicians, but also uh, we hope to collaborate with musicians of all kinds.